guys, here we are for round one of our modern eight man with blue white blink. Let's uh, I don't know, go like lone missionary into pilgrim's eye or something. Um, no land, it's not fun. Mulligan this, almost kept, almost kept on accident. Oh, I guess, I guess this is the way we play it. I don't know. Four lands, pilgrim's eye, path to exile. Hey, this is what we signed ourselves up for, I guess. Yeah, we'll keep. What could go wrong? If we had a wall of omens, maybe I lead with the uh, planes. That way, I can path a birds of paradise or something, um, and then you know play my wall on turn two. But with nothing, there's really no reason. Might as well just get the tap land in there. Living end. Hopefully we draw our mana leaks. Pilgrim's Eye is not helpful against Living End. Hmm. So we could cycle one more. I think if he wants to bring back three guys, I think I'm fine with that. Um, I don't know, the, the timing is interesting because he still needs green mana. Um, so like, let's say he cycles one more creature here, then next turn, I guess he could fire it off just to you know bring three guys in. It's not really getting much off the triggers. Maybe I just want to wait. This means I can't cast Pilgrim's Eye until turn 5, which I don't really care about. I could just play Draw Go. I mean, I'm not going to be able, like, if the Pilgrim's Eye was something that I could actually hit my opponent with, you know, it'd be different, but this Pilgrim's Eye isn't going to put any clock on my opponent, so there's no reason to just, like, you know, drop the Negate Shield just to like play a pilgrim's eye like it doesn't really gain me anything yeah like architects of will this is something that he would want in his graveyard um because he can get that back and then uh you know lock me out of good draws looks like he's still missing green mana but he can do other things should we target non-basic land he gets to pop my Amiria. maybe my hallowed fountain We'll play Island next turn. Cool. There's this forest. Yep, I don't know. I guess the plan is just hope he doesn't have two of his eight Cascade spells. Well, that was stupid. <laughs> uh, whoops. I believe we have lost this game. I don't know why I counted the Violent Outburst. That was a complete punt. It's late and we make stupid plays. Um, so that's pretty good, I guess. Dispel is sweet. Right? Dispel is sweet. No, his thing is a sorcery. I believe. Let's double check that. Hmm. 
Yeah, living against the sorcery. I knew it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why I second guess myself. Um, it seems good. Uh, new, new, new. Turn a creature control to its owner's hand. Exile target card from a graveyard. Eh. Seems pretty meh. This seems good after he plays a bunch of guys, or like floods the board with a bunch of guys. Um, Detention Sphere seems poor. Mortar Pod seems poor. Path of Exiles seem poor. Spreading Seas seems fine. Lone Missionary beats down. Eh, 3 2 Flash, flying. Nah, it's no good. So we can cascade into Living End. Living End is cast without paying its mana cost, right? Yeah, I think that works the way I'm planning on it working. These double Sun Titans are a little awkward. Oh, come on, island. No! <laughs> Dang it. This is unfortunate. The 2 1 beats gets us there more than you think it would. So we have two draws to hit like 11 islands or something like that. If this if this works like I think it does, I think this locks him out. He just has to find a beast within. Um, the end. Maybe I don't know. Maybe this is gonna be the stupidest video ever. I guess we'll see. Maybe, maybe play is different than cast. All I know is it goes on the stack. Let's see if he goes for the beast within. Sweet, we have another one. <laughs> I told you the 2 1 beats would get us there. Meddling Mage. Oh no. Okay. We'll hit a stopping ground. 3, 6, 8. Puts him to 4.
He gets a Street Wraith, a Jungle Weaver, an Architects of Will. I get two Meddling Mages. He has to hit a green source. My webcam is frozen again. There we go. Cycles. Doesn't look like he hit it. Spirit Guide. <laughs> Might cycle again. Ah, the Tomonic Dread. No. Living End and Beast Within, I guess. I mean, we're okay. Wall of Omens can find us a land. We really just need to get to our fourth land so we can Wrath. These three Sun Titans are the worst. We might be able to climb our way out of this. Maybe. We have all the life in the world. Our opponent can't really just swing out. Yeah, I think we just block like that. Ugh. Interesting. So if he doesn't have another creature and we draw a path, that means he's dead. Um, we boarded out our path, didn't we? Yeah, I think we did. Or do we just want to... Put everything on the 5-6? Nah, that doesn't seem right. I, th I think we block like this. Going to 2. Yep. Alright. Oh no, come on. Um, I guess we can extract his living ends and then as long as we can wrath, he should just be dead. I mean, he can just like hard cast creatures, but Aether Spellbomb can cycle. Yeah, I think we just take this and hope to hit a land. Ricochet trap. Um, nothing else cool. Just ricochet traps. No, I forgot to exile the one out of his graveyard. He can't get it back though.
Save a little bit of damage. We have two draws basically to hit another land. And like a lot of things that cycle, so I'm not worried about our uh, about our chances from this spot. Yeah. Should be set. I think our matchup against Living End is fine. I mean, just because like these, the Meddling Mage and the Surgical Extraction is doing a lot more work than I thought it would. They're just really good cards. Just, yeah, all these guys are dying anyways, so. Ooh. I mean, I guess we just wrath. Ah, oh, I forgot to attack with our Wall of Omens. Next turn, play a Sun Titan. <laughs> what do you got? Yeah, a 4-4. Four, four. Sure. Well... I think we go to five. Our opponent doesn't have any removal. Bear with me. Um. Yeah, no use wrathing one creature. He has a ricochet trap and a random card in hand. We have a negate in case in case craziness, but he doesn't have a. He has one beast within. So we could like Sun Titan, bring back like Lone Missionary. We probably just bring back Wall of Omens. And even if he beasts within, so we like have a three three, another creature that can block, and next year we just cast another Sun Titan. This is unfortunate. All right. There we go. All right, now it should be game. Wee! <laughs> Casting six mana titans like it's two thousand and ten or something. I don't know. Um, I guess we just do meddling mage on beast within. This is a creature that can attack. All right, so we punted away the first game that we probably weren't winning anyways, um, but yeah, by countering a violent outburst. Uh, I'm so bad at this game. Um, but yeah, Meddling Mage did work, Surgical Extraction did work, um, Spreading Seas didn't look like it did anything, but I still think we keep it in. Um, like, we can dispel a Ricochet Trap. And this card definitely shouldn't be in our deck. I think we didn't draw it. Yeah. Dispel should have been in our deck instead of the Oja Dice Command. Counters Beast Within. Counters Ricochet Trap. This is just, this card does nothing in this matchup. I don't think I want Path. I can like rant myself, but um, there's nothing I really want to cut for it. Um, like Spreading Seas just as an expensive cycler is fine. Sometimes it can hurt his mana. They uh, living in likes to skimp on lands just because they have so many cyclers to help them hit extra lands. I don't know. I could see cutting the Spreading Seas for a couple Path Exile, but I think I'm just going to keep it this way. Yep. Yeah. 
Land isn't legendary. This hand's kind of slow, but I have Meddling Mage and a Mana Leak. I'm on the draw. My opponent's on a mulligan. I'll keep it. Came to play, not to mulligan. Yeah, see? All my problems are solved. Not really. Could have been an island. Oh, what could have been. Hopefully I don't come to regret this. Come on, island. Island. No. I mean, uh, yeah, living in right here would be awesome for him. He just gets a four, four, and a five, six. Hmm. Not bad. <laughs> oh, my deck looks so bad. I don't know, maybe I should have mulliganed this hand. It seemed like it was fine. I mean, we have two sweepers we can draw into. Like, we can still buy a lot of time. Like, Lone Missionary, Meddling Mage. Or, like, Lone Missionary, Cortisar to search for our sweeper. Not the worst. Yeah, I actually think we're kind of fine here. Yeah, look at that. See everything we could ever need. Um... Yeah, we're just gonna chump chump, I think. Our problem is going to be, um, like, we Supreme Verdict next turn, and then he just ca gets to cast, like, an instant speed violent outburst to get his guys back. But if we can hit our sixth land and bring in a Sun Titan... He can beast within it. We'll bring back a lone missionary. Then we have a, we'll be at 15. We can trade with the Caribid. And then we get a Sun Titan back if he goes for a living end. So I actually think Sun Titan is the best play here. For life, or do I want the card? I think I want the life. He beasts within my Sun Titan. I get a 3 3 plus the 1 3 can block the Carabid, and I get to keep the Cortosar or one of those creatures. Low Missionary means both of my guys trade. Um. Beast Within is only removal. I actually think we bring. Oh no, he gets sacrificed immediately, doesn't he? That's fine, we get a card. What did he do? Oh, okay. That's fine.
Beast Within? Looks like it's a Beast Within. Nope. Okay. This is tense. Okay. Oh no, we're just dead. No, we're not. Can he fail to find? I guess he can. Well, Fairy Macabre into Demonic Dread means we're just dead. Wasn't playing around that. I don't know. So, I guess we're going to look at this and be like, oh, I threw away game one. I don't think I was winning game one anyways. Um, game three looked like it was rough, and then uh, I was able to hit my lands and possibly pull me back into it. Um, but he was able to, like, uh, Fairy Macabre to exile um, both my Sun Titan target and something else and then just like cast a Demonic Dread so I couldn't block. It seems like, I don't know, the other option would have been like just Verdict and hope he doesn't have Violent Outburst, but at that point with one Demonic Dread in the graveyard it's more likely that he has a, um, a Violent Outburst than like the second Demonic Dread, plus like the Fairy Macabre that would punish me for that. So, I think I made the right decision and it just didn't uh, work out for me, but I don't know, we'll see. Um, yeah, I guess we'll, uh, we'll try and hop into another 8-man and uh, we'll be back for round 2, technically round 1, round 2. A second attempt at round 1. Um, so yeah, we'll be back in a minute.